Good evening. As we begin tonight, a massive new development is happening in the West Valley with a local company investing billions of dollars and adding thousands of new jobs. 12 News' is Craig Harris is live in Peoria with more details. Craig? Hey, good evening. Out here in Peoria behind me, you see a desert. It's a place where even wild burrows roam, but soon this will be the new home of a semiconductor campus. Two, three. Let's see. Uh. Governor Katie Hobbs and Peoria Mayor Jason Beck were all smiles on Monday. They joined Amcor officials in a ceremonial groundbreaking. Amcor is making a huge investment, and I talked with CEO Heel Rutten. We have invested more than $7 billion, and the, the number of jobs at that final stage will be more than 3,000 high-tech jobs. The investment includes additional clean room space and a second greenfield packaging and test facility. MCOR builds uh, and assembles and tests semiconductor components. Our customers are the biggest technology companies in the world. Companies like NVIDIA, like AMD, like uh, other partners in the, in the semiconductor area. Meanwhile, local and state leaders put aside their political differences to celebrate a coup for the West Valley. Governor Katie Hobbs, a Democrat, had this to say. AMCOR is a vital part of this story. And today, the Arizona company, base company is doubling down on its investments in our state and in our people. While Peoria Mayor Jason Beck, a Republican, said AMCOR's investment is another step in the Peoria Innovation Core. Our goal is we want more. The city of Peoria is open for business. I'm already recruiting, as, as, as some of you can attest. Uh, we, are, we are open for business and we, want, and we want to create more jobs. In addition to the jobs here for Amcor, economic development leaders say this could spin off for more jobs in the retail and the commercial sector, along with lots and lots of housing, which will be more of a boon here for the West Valley. Reporting from Peoria, I'm Craig Harris, 12 News. All right, Craig, thank you so much. And meteorologist Lindsay Ross.